Hi everyone, it's Don here, part four, I think, of using up your stash. Um, I'm going to concentrate more on some little bit of material, what what to do with it. Look, junk journals, everybody knows that. I created a couple books, and it's this calico, and I did some stamping on it. Um, and I've used up lots of trim um, on it and I've used up some cardboard and this cardboard was from some cereal boxes so I put two layers together and then I did some a postcard kind of thing explain what it is and it's actually a photo album um, and then I did some cards to go in it and that's going to be some journaling um, and some more photos as well and I did yeah there's one it's got some more photos on these ones and this is for my grandsons um it's kind of a masculine feel aren't they cute my little two grandsons when i was little many years ago um so that's one way of using up stash and i've just used some little bits of um embellishments and things and yes i do have hogwarts because i'm a hogwarts fan a harry potter fan this um, little book I made, again, it's for material. I've covered this little book. I got this from an op shop and I loved it so much. I didn't actually want to tear the pages out. So what I did, I took the front cover off, made uh, another cover kind of thing um, from paper. And then the piece that was actually on the front of the book, I cut that off and sewed it all on. And it's got this like, um, it's kind of material feel anyway of the book. And I just loved it. And in it, it's a special gift, but it's happy is a house that shelters a friend. And it's got all these great, great things in it, um, making life worthwhile and and the quotes and the sort of poems and um, a little sayings. And I loved it so much that I, all I simply did was use a bit of trim um, and covered the book with some nice paper. Okay, simple, wasn't it? Okay, uh, I also make lots of flowers. And what I've done is, look, we're kind of using our stash up, but we're kind of getting prepared for um, some when we want to use something. But we're also um, preparing, preparing using our stash and organising at the same time, maybe. So what I've done, and when your mojo goes missing, do these kind of things. Um, I've cut lots and lots, of, oh my God, I've just put this everywhere. So I've actually cut lots and lots of flowers for materials, and they're all kinds of material. Like this is, um, uh, was it tapestry kind of material? Um, so that's kind of that. Um, this one is from, um, oh, what do you call that? Hmm. Whatever. Um, silk. So I've got lots of silk. I've got, I'm trying to bring it out, lace. Okay. And you think to yourself, well, what do they look like um, when you've done that? This is what some looks like anyway. Okay. And this one's got a little doily on the back. And buttons on the front. So I'm not only am I using up material. I'm using up my buttons. Little bits of pieces like doilies. I'm using up lots of lace. And buttons again. Um, this one's ribbon. So I've made some ribbon ones. Oh, let me put that behind you. Some ribbon. Okay, I have made some pretty ones and that's just using a little bit of ink and that's like a calico kind of thing, um, kind of thing. These kinds of ones, a little bit of lace, um, this is some material spare and a button there. Um, I've got bags of it, I'm telling you I've got bags. Again, little flowers, um, some more there, some loader ones there, these ones, these ones, these ones, love this, one of my favourite flowers and, and I'm not sure if you can see it but what I've did is I've folded it over um, and then gone along a little bit, I'm gluing as I'm folding and I'm folding a bit more, gluing, folding and so on, that's how that's made, um, 
these ones. So I'm using up um, lots and lots of material. Um, and I've done some of these ones as well. These are just the basic. And I'll just put them on to send as gifts or something to someone. I did these for some Christmas presents as well. There's some more I did. So, and these are using up scraps. Really, and my buttons. And I try to do them in, um, if I'm going to send them as a gift, I try to do them in sort of colour themed. That one's another one. So you see, it's just using up all your scraps. I mean, it's really, really simple. Okay. Now, oh, here's two more. As you can see, I've got heaps of them. And don't make them even unless you're really pedantic. You don't have to make them even. So you can do heaps. Um, so I've got heaps cut out ready to go whenever, whenever I um, get the chance. Now, I am also do paper ones, so rosettes. So I'm using up scraps of paper. And again, I'm using up some buttons because I've got a whole box of buttons um, somewhere behind me. Um, so I'm using up buttons there. Um, lots of this. Oh, I like this one. This is like a scrappy one. I like how that turned out. That's very firm and works really well on um, things like um, junk journals and things. Or feminine or uh, um, shabby chic. Um, some more. I did these here with um, a Tim Holtz. That there, I think that's a Spellbinders die. Um, and then I just did a plain circle. Yeah, Spellbinders die, plain circle. And that's a Tim Holtz one named Deep Cutting Embossing Ones um, Star something. So I did some of them. So that turned out quite effective. But again, I'm using up scraps. And I did actually use up lots of scraps using that one. I made flowers just from dies and using up scraps. Um, I've cut out lots and lots of little bits or what I've had left over, put them in a bag. So when I need to go and get some die cuts, I've got die cuts ready to go. And look, put them in a bag. When you get time, go and sort them out sometime else. You know, just stick them in a box. And no one says that you have to be perfect. No one says that you need to put everything together straight away. Okay, stick them in like that. Well, stick them like that. Put them together set separate. When you've got time, when you're bored, your mojo's gone, you haven't got anything to make, your mind's going, oh, I don't know what to do, grab a bag of them out, sort them out then. No one says you have to do it straight away, okay? But if you put everything together, like I've got all this kind of stuff in one box. And when I go ready to sort them out, which is probably be never because I've got always something to do, um, then I will do it. But until then... Just a box full of stuff. Okay. I also used up some um, of my ribbons because I've got a huge stash of ribbons. So I did heaps of little um, of these and I've got some big ones here somewhere. Oh, yeah, here's some. So I tied lots of bows, put them in there so they're ready to go for when you want to use them. Okay. This is using up your ribbons as well. So I know I love putting these on, uh, the li especially little ones. And yes, I do time by hand, but you can get lots of little things. You can use a fork. Um, I tried using a fork and I just made a hell of a mess, so I went back to using my hands. But you can use, um, get little tools, two pegs apparently you can do it with. Um, so I just make all these bows up, put them, put them in lots of little bags. And I can either send them as gifts or I use them up in my stash, right? The other thing I do is lots of little embellishments like this and I sat here one day and I'm thinking you know what I want very plain ones I don't want them too fancy I want to just use something up so I make lots of little embellishments okay so lots of little ones just using up scraps and they will literally come from a scrap bag um, material I didn't have any of the Tim Holtz things, um, so I made ghosts. And that's cotton bud in it, t-shirt material, rubber band, and all different colours. And they ghosts, and they actually work just like a Tim Holtz thing. And they're cheap as, because you're only recycling. So cotton balls are cheap, 
recycling your t-shirts or whatever and they were brilliant because I have lots and lots of colours of them and you can do it for every, uh, every ink pad that you have. I hope that helped a little bit. Part 4, using up scraps. Catch you soon.